Hey everybody, welcome to TIW Podcast. I'm Eric, and today I watched WWE NXT episode 569, NXT UK episode 100, SmackDown episode 1089, 205 Live episode 186, and Raw episode 1414. Uh, these were all broadcast from uh, July 1st through July 6th, 2020. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I had intended to do just an episode about Great American Bash, but I ended up not doing that, and then I figured, uh, I'll just do the whole week at the, before next week's NXT. Um, uh, Great American Bash Night 1 was fantastic. Oh my gosh, every single match was, was great. Uh, we opened up with Tegan versus Dakota versus Mia versus Candice in an elimination match. Mia Yim first eliminated Candice. Then Dakota Kai eliminated uh, Mia Yim. And then Tegan Knox won after hitting Dakota Kai with the shiniest wizard. Uh, go watch this match. It was fantastic, even if you know who wins. And we also got some story going forward out of this match into next week. We're going to have Mia Yim versus Candice LeRae in a street fight. And that is going to be pretty awesome. Um, then we had Timothy Thatcher versus Oni Lorcan. They beat the crap out of each other for for real. Um, and uh, Timothy uh, T- Timothy Thatcher won via the Fujiwara armbar. I was hoping that a can- a friendship would be kindled uh, with this face to face, but uh, maybe that will still come sometime down the line. Uh, then we had Rhea Ripley versus the team of Robert Stone and Aaliyah, the two members of the Robert Stone brand at the moment. Um, and I was hoping that Robert Stone would have athletic goggles. And sure enough, he broke them in, uh, broke them out. And he broke them in a little bit uh, after making their entrance. At first, I thought, oh, no, he doesn't have the goggles, but he has all this this other great gear. Uh, but anyway, the the ending of this match was amazing. I am so I am so much more excited about this episode, like everything in this episode, than I am what everything that I'm going to talk about after this episode. So I apologize for that in advance. But uh, oh man, Rhea Ripley getting the both of them in the what is, what is it called? Oh, I don't know what they actually call. It's the prism something, but the uh, the clover leaf, the the elevated clover leaf hold. Hey, she had both of them up in it, one in each arm. It was incredible. Uh, and they both tapped out. I really, Aaliyah, I don't know if Aaliyah was tapping out more so that she was smacking Robert Stone in the back. Um, I'd, I, I, I maybe might argue that she wasn't tapping out. She was mad at Robert Stone for tapping out and was uh, slapping him to get him to stop. Maybe. <laughs> That's my <laughs> slight defense of, uh, of Aaliyah's uh match her uh performance in that match maybe i don't know but the match was really good then we had a strap match between roderick strong and dexter loomis um there's they had a couple of really nice cars one of the dodge viper and <laughs> uh, uh tom phillips says uh is like worried when he opens the truck he's like that's a dodge viper the, the trunk is even smaller than what do you than uh the typical car I don't know what that voice was. It was a little, bit, a little bit of him being Jerry Seinfeld uh, back on main events. I don't want to be a pirate. Uh, that's more Don Knotts than Jerry Seinfeld. Anyway, um, oh what? Uh, oh, there's a there's a modified uh, a Boston crab. It was like a hogtied Boston crab. Uh, that was really awesome. Um, fish arrived, but his his appearance made no difference in a positive way for strong uh because loomis hit him with the uh uranagi and the silence something si- sound of, i don't know what the name of that name th- there's silence is in the name i wrote down silence and um roger strong tapped out like a punk no <laughs> he d- uh, dexter loomis is quite the adversary um Let's see, Adam Cole uh, in a promo saying how there's no Keith Lee without Adam Cole, that Adam Cole made NXT what it is today, etc. Candice LeRae attacks me again backstage. Isaiah Swerve Scott tries to break it up, and Johnny is not taking that lightly. He is very mad at 
swerve and it was later announced actually just like yesterday maybe or the day before sometime between this episode and right now uh it was announced that next week the next episode we will have not only candace ray versus mia yim in a street fight but isaiah swerve scott versus johnny gargano in a fight a regular fight a wrestling fight a wrestle fight (laughs) um and then we had uh uh santos escobar and the legado del fantasma come out uh staking their claim to everything basically but then they're interrupted by drake maverick and they attack him but brizongo have his back and next week we will have a six-man tag team match legado del fantasma versus emporium and I think their faction is just about complete because they have their answer to Walter and Drake Maverick, but he must now go by the name Welter. That's right. Uh, Welter is uh, Drake Maverick's new name. Um, oh, no, no laughs here either, but there's nobody here to laugh. <laughs> i i made that joke on my, my whatsapp wrestling chat nothing uh they're talking about some more they were talking about much more serious stuff uh when i cracked that joke uh so it very rightly got <laughs> buried by the rest of the conversation but i'm still very proud of that joke i posted the comments no reaction in the comments so far well maybe let me check let me check perhaps drake maverick gave it a like He's the only one I actually tagged in it, but um, yeah, I was pretty I was pretty happy with that joke. Even though Drake Maverick is a couple of pounds too heavy to be a welterweight, it still works. I think it still works. A minor inconsistency for an otherwise excellent joke. Um, anyway, we'll have Emporium versus uh, Phantasma next week. It's going to be awesome. And then our main event, Sasha Banks versus Io Shirai. Um, Asuka made an appearance. Oops, I hit the keyboard. Oops. Um, <laughs> Asuka came out from under the ring. She was under the ring the entire time with a mouthful of green mist and hits Sasha Banks with the green mist. Io Shirai gets the win. Oh, it was fantastic! But everything up to that was was uh, was 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 so so freaking great. Go watch this match. Go watch this match. It's, it's awesome. Um, oh wait, match of the year, perhaps, perhaps in the running in the top five for sure. Then we had NXT UK episode one hundred. We had three picks from uh from former UK people who are now back over here uh in NXT and and the in Raw and SmackDown. Uh, we had uh, Nikki Cross made her pick of Aoife Valkyrie versus Isla Dawn from just a couple months. I think it was from March. Uh, William Regal picked Noam Dar versus A Kid. I think this was also from earlier this year. And then Drew McIntyre went all the way back to the uh, cr- the United Kingdom Championship tournament. Um, with the semifinal match of Mark Andrews versus Pete Dunne. And oh my god, I forgot how amazing this match was. Go and watch this match. The other two matches were good too. But man, this match is great. Um, we also had a great featurette video about Imperium. They did not address Emporium, and they did not address Walter's counterpart, Welter, at all. But I also didn't think of the welter joke until way after i saw this episode so anyway uh then we had smackdown so 1089 we opened it with matt riddle barry corbin bro uh, but, uh, morrison versus the bro bro wins he throws a flip flop at corbin blah 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 uh intercontinental championship styles versus gulak an excellent match uh styles wins via phenomenal forearm um and we got like commentary from daniel bryant not commentary but like uh uh, he wasn't commenting on the match, but he was answering some questions by them. And I thought that was a really cool, different thing to do during that match. Um, Daniel Bryan wasn't there in person. Uh, have him on Zoom or Skype. Skype, get in there. Get get the word out about Skype. How did you blow it so badly during all this? Skype is the, the verb that we like. It's it was, Skype was the Kleenex of video calls. Skype was the Kleenex of video calls, and now 
and now we're it, it, it's been taken over by Bounty or something. I don't even know what other companies make Kleenex. I don't even know what Kleenex is actually called if it's not called Kleenex, uh, facial tissues. Um, what other companies even make that? I don't know. I don't know. That's how big Microsoft blew it with Skype. That that we're all using Zoom to Skype when Skype still exists. If Skype no longer exists, it might, would make sense. But Skype still exists. Skype still exists. It's crazy. Anyway, at FaceTime, how did FaceTime blow it so much? Well, not everybody has iPhones. Uh, don't use Zoom because there's lots of security issues. I have not used Zoom once yet. But I'll, I use Facebook, and that probably has some... Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. Up next, we got a tribute to The Undertaker by Bailey and Sasha. And I love that Bailey's catchphrase, one of her many catchphrases right now is, Ding dong! Hello! And I, I still need to make a shirt. I've been meaning to make a shirt since this episode, since watching this episode. So it's been almost a week without me having made this shirt that says just ding dong hello in like the stencil font that her name is in these days. Um, with like a rectangle around it. Gold on black, of course. Ding dong hello. Ding dong hello. Um, anyway. And I even I use that for a clue in the game or as an answer in the in uh on on uh, uh what did you do on Twitch this morning. Every morning, almost every morning, I've been streaming on Twitch playing the WWE Supercard, which is I, I won't say it's necessarily a fun game. It's uh it's addictive. Not necessarily fun. I don't know. I <laughs> It should be fun. I've been playing so much of it. You'd think I would say, "Oh, it's a fun game." I don't. I don't know if I would actually describe it as a fun game, but it is addictive, which uh, counts for something, I guess. Uh, it might mean uh, I play too much of it and I should stop. But I play it every morning on Twitch. On Twitch, uh, go check it out. Twitch TV. Twitch TV dot com slash the Demon Jackal. Uh, WWE twenty four seven thirty six seven eleven. 365 360 211 311 the band championship um <clears throat> we had after they did that tribute Nikki and Alexa come out uh and they they give them they 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 present a few facts about themselves that Nikki is a queen of Scotland and that she's 325th in line to the uh, royal crown and that alexa drove across antarctica in a go-kart the first woman to do so both of those seem pretty plausible um <clears throat> especially you would get better ma alexa would get better mileage than most driving in a golf cart uh riding in a golf cart go go kart golf cart or either one um just because it, it, that's less that it's less that the cart has to carry that's what i'm saying because she's short uh bailey versus alexa bliss happens bailey won after a disqualification when nikki cross attacked very angry at bailey about everything um and then we had swamp fight at extreme rule that's right braun Strowman versus ray wyatt will be a swamp fight whatever that means which i hopefully i, I hope that the swamp thing is involved somehow uh, then we had the New Day come out. It was Kofi Kingston versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura won via Kinshasa, but that was after a little bit of uh, it was it, there was some distraction and stuff like that. I don't, I am not sure what I wrote down here. I have really sloppy handwriting on many parts of this page. Um, and then we ended with a toast to Jeff Hardy, uh, with all of the alcohol there. A very irresponsible bartender. It is like very well established. That Jeff Hardy is uh, is an alcoholic, uh, recovering, uh, r recovering alcoholic, and all of that, and uh, it's very irresponsible for this so-called professional to force a drink upon him. Um, it is, yeah, it is made very clear that Jeff should not be having it. But he he pours it on uh, this guy's head, and uh, then hits him with a swanton bomb on top of all of that broken flute glass is that a flute or is it a champagne glass i don't know whatever it is 
Uh, so yeah, all that happened. Then we had uh, 205 Live, episode 186. Uh, Isaiah Swerve Scott versus Matt Martell of Everrise. Um, Swerve won that match, but then Everrise started attacking Swerve and Tony Nese came out. He said, hey, let's make this a tag team match. And so I guess Tony Nese is a good guy now. I think I missed something as far as those developments last week. I also had like a quick recap of everything. But... Um, Oh, it was a disqualification because of the attack. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, and then Isaiah Swerve Scott got the win. Uh, but but um, I didn't write down how that happened. Also, really great is that Byron Saxton and Drew Gulak are the commentators this week and last week. I haven't actually watched last week. I just saw the results of it. Um, and then we had Legato... Uh, uh, El Legado del Fantasma, um, Raul Mendoza, and uh, uh, Oscar Wilde. No. Uh, oh, Joaquin Wilde. That's right. <laughs> um, AKA Oscar Wilde. Uh, they took on the team of Leo Gray and Leon Ruff. And I'm pretty sure that Fantasma won that match so uh yeah i didn't write down who i did watch the match i'm i just don't remember exactly and i didn't write it down um uh, okay then that brings us to uh this week's raw from uh the de- of uh, december why did i almost say december from july 6 uh this is episode 1414 i missed the first 50 minutes uh roughly because um, I was really tired and I thought I would be able to t- just take a quick cat nap, a 30 minutes refresher, and I ended up sleeping like two and a half hours instead. So I wasn't able to record. I, th- I thought I might be able to record the episode to, to like finish last week. But instead, here I am now tagging on this episode of Raw to this episode. So that's what happens anyway uh during those 50 minutes Heath Slater returned with Dolph Ziggler uh bringing him back uh to 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 confront Drew McIntyre because Drew McIntyre apparently wasn't there for him he didn't call Heath like Heath had called Drew back when Drew was released many years ago and uh he gives him a slap and another slap and another slap maybe just two slaps and uh Drew McIntyre finally accepts the challenge they have a match I did not see the match but I did see the aftermath of it that Dolph Ziggler attacked and uh, Heath Slater's devastated. Uh, he attacked Heath Slater and Drew McIntyre came running back into the ring, fought off Drew, uh, fought off D- Dolph. And uh, we had a big, big, nice hug between the two, two of the three, three man band fellows. Uh, what does this mean for Heath Slater? I don't know. I mean, is he back? That would be great um is it just a one-off appearance also this was a great appearance if that is the case but hopefully he is is back like fully back it would be great um so i hope so uh seth and friends they laid out alistair black backstage it's presumed that it's them that did it uh viking raiders say that edge is a fellow viking referring of course to the show vikings um (laughs) so that was a good uh connection there uh ko show kevin uh preemptively removes all the chairs to have seth rollins and murphy come out uh kevin owens has a gift for seth and it's a ko mania four shirt um let's see seth challenges ray mysterio for extreme rules ray and dominic arrive and we get a tag team match kevin owens and ray mysterio versus seth rollins and murphy um seth at one point spokes dominic's eyes the winner of this match will choose what their uh, stipulation for extreme rules is um alistair black arrived to do something i forget why he came out. uh and then dominic jabbed murphy in the eye and ray chooses uh they win the match i think and so he chooses an eye for an eye match and seth is like huh what 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 the huh why would how di- what how dare it? what why what kind of sick what <laughs> he just had that kind of a, he didn't say any of that that's just what i saw coming uh emoting from his his face <laughs> oh, so dumb. 
Okay, um, then we had MVP versus Cruz announced uh, to be a match at Extreme Rules for the United States Championship. Apollo Cruz is not here at the moment, but MVP unveils a brand new United States title, and he says, well, I beat I beat Apollo Cruz last week, so I'm the United States champion, so there. But he wasn't. It wasn't a title match. So MVP has this brand new U.S. title, which replicas of this are being sold in the WWE shop already. Uh, but MVP is in possession of this title. Apollo Crews is in possession of the old title. We'll see what happens with that. Ricochet is said to have a problem by MVP. Um, and that's that uh, Cedric. No, who is the problem? Anyway, um, Ricochet and Cedric Alexander face off against MVP and Bobby Lashley. Uh, MVP wins after Bobby Lashley hits a spear on Cedric Alexander. Or maybe Bobby Lashley got the win. Uh, I just wrote down via spear to Cedric was the final move of the match. Um, Randy, he threatens Andrade and Angel because they're going to go up against the Viking Raiders and, uh, good old, um, good old, what's his name? Randy or no, uh, uh, big show. And he threatens him. I will RKO you if you mess up. So don't mess this up. And also big show is mine. Uh, Rick Flair is there as well. And he seems pretty happy to, uh, be working with his future son-in-law uh andrade so that, that was kind of nice to see but also worrying that rick flair is there around all these people who might uh be, a, be able to get rick flair sick but hey uh fingers crossed um then we had j- just have him just have him on skype come on come on you can still have him on the show just have him on skype he doesn't have to be there in person um he's definitely going to get punted by randy orton at some point though uh oscar she challenges for a tag team title cha- title match after um after the win tonight that she anticipates uh big show and viking raiders versus andrade angel and randy ends with an rko to eric randy gets the win there then we had ruby riot versus billy k still no sign of Liv morgan uh two weeks without Liv morgan but she is being talked about i think ruby and Liv are going to get back together they've got to get back together soon but Billy Kay wins after Ruby's hair escapes. A lot of her hair escapes uh, es- escapes the orbit of her head. Uh, I thought for a second, <laughs> like, I, wh- how is her hair so long? It gets, goes all the way to the ground. But then I realized, oh, it had uh, gotten pulled apart. And now it is uh, uh, fully, fully liberated from the rest of her follicles. Um <laughs> Anyway, uh, Sasha accepts Asuka's challenge. Bailey gets upset for just a second. And says, what? what, what? We're, we're going to win. It's fine. Uh, then we have Bailey versus Asuka with Nikki Cross on commentary. Uh, Sasha Banks is also there at ringside. Um, and she's a great, great thing is that uh, Sasha's wearing. She was holding the tag team titles, both of them. But she was wearing the SmackDown championship um so that was uh that was a pretty boss move on her part yeah yeah uh naked cross was removed for being a, a a problem at one point um and nikki also said she was gonna give she was gonna give bailey four black eyes uh in their title match at extreme rules um <laughs> and then right before a commercial break um uh, i think it was michael cole saying like they were serving up something and then Bailey's like, oh, yeah, we're serving it up. She sits down and slams back. He's like, starts m- miming, eating food. She's like, serving it up. Tastes so good. Uh, it was a great, great moment. This whole match was amazing, first of all. But also, um, uh, it was, uh, oh, what, what was I trying to say? This It, it was really fun. It was really entertaining. Uh, the match is really good. Uh, all kinds of great character stuff throughout. Um, yeah, just and it was like a full half hour, um, not quite a full half hour, like twenty five minutes, uh, including commercials. But yeah, just just so so solid. Um, Kyrie Sane was there, uh, and Bailey baited Kyrie Sane into getting up onto the apron, and while uh the referee was dealing with Kyrie, uh, 
Sasha hit Asuka in the face with her knee, uh, but Asuka still kicked out. Um, Sasha goes and gets some water for Bailey. Bailey spits it all in their face. Uh, but then Nikki Cross is there. She had been uh, kicked out, um, but she made her way back into the crowd and she's banging on the pex- plexiglass really loud. And that's that frightened Bailey. I thought at first when the camera panned over, I thought that she was frightened by <laughs> by er- uh, by Eric Bugenhagen, but uh, she was in fact frightened by uh, uh f- by Nikki Cross there. Um, so Oscar gets locks in the Oscar lock, um, and Kyrie intercepts Sasha who tries to to interfere with that, and uh, Oscar gets the pin on Bailey after uh, some struggle back and forth there. So this match was so good. So good. Go watch it. Go, go, go watch it. It's great. Um, and man, this is like the the fourth or fifth main event uh, involving uh, Bailey, or, uh, Bailey or Sasha. So good. So good. Um, so I'm really excited for that. They're, they're going to have a tag title match because Asuka won um, this week. And um, that's going to be that's going to be awesome. But I kind of hope that there's some type of interference or cheating or something so that there's a reason to have a hour long iron woman tag team title match. Make it happen. That would be fantastic. I hope that happens in the very near future, but I think it will happen after extreme rules. If, if anything like that does, um, I don't think the titles are changing hands next week on raw. Um, so yeah, there you go. That is everything from this week, uh, from the past week so far. Um, NXT tonight is going to be amazing. We have the, uh, Emporium versus Legato del Fantasma. We have Keith Lee versus Adam Cole, baby. And a, a, uh, winner takes all match for the North American and NXT titles. We have, uh, Mercedes Martinez will appear to do something. I hope, I, I hope we get to see her wrestle someone perhaps maybe she's gonna issue a challenge she's gonna call out uh the champion Io Shirai. perhaps that would be great um and then what else do we have we have johnny gargano versus isaiah swerve scott that'll be excellent and then we also have candace LeRae versus mia yim in a street fight all this tonight on nxt is going to be fantastic um also i guess the oh so going back to the stipulation of the i versus i i for an i match i versus i um i guess the winner of the match uh has to pull the eyeball out of the other person's head which is ridiculous we'll see how that happens they they, they have some connections to this, to tom savini i think they, they could hook up some uh special effects work to uh to make that happen in that match but uh yeah there you go I, I i and i guess seth could always pull out the the eye that's already ruined by ray mysterio <laughs> i just want everybody in this feud to end up in eye patches and so like when they have matches they will <laughs> be like grasping at each other and then missing because they don't have depth perception anymore uh it'll be hilarious so funny people losing body parts it's the funny funniest thing in re- <laughs> in wrestling okay anyway um all right that is everything for that i wanted to talk about i think there's probably some other stuff that i forgot but uh, go check out twitch.tv slash the demon jackal every morning talking about wrestling mostly and some other stuff but uh let me know what you thought about this episode by tweeting me at tiw podcast go to tiw podcast.com for more reviews if you enjoyed this episode or anything else on the site please share some links with your friends subscribe to itunes spotify stitcher youtube wherever you like to listen stay safe healthy and happy out there in all the infinite multiverses especially if it's a better multiverse than this one but uh, i'll see you next time here on tiw podcast bye